everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here please take our time to hit that subscribe button so that you won't miss my next upload as promised in my 4th of July video I'm back to make a lamp using the silver star shaped tea light holder you'll also see how I made this glamorous feather lamp shade If you're interested in seeing how I put all of this together, then keep watching. You'll need six of these star-shaped tea light holders, some diamond wrap from Dollar Tree, this one has five rows, Dollar Tree napkin rings, this star-shaped dish, a candle holder, some type of strong glue, looking glass spray paint, this is optional, and some hot glue. First thing you want to do is take your glass bowl outside and spray paint it with the looking glass spray paint. Spray paint the inside of the bowl. After five coats of the looking glass spray paint, you'll have a beautiful mirror finish. I work with a lot of spray paint. So I decided to buy a mask and I purchased this one on Amazon and I'll leave a link below if you're interested. Let's get started. Flip your bowl upside down. Take one of your star shaped tea light holders. Place it on top of your bowl just to get an idea where it needs to go. Take your glue and spread it along the edge of your tea light holder. Place it back on top of your bowl and allow it to dry. After your two pieces have bonded together, you're going to take another one of your star tea light holders and a napkin ring and glue them on top. Here I have a tea light holder with the napkin ring already attached. So now I'll line both of the tea light holders up and then glue those two separate pieces together. Wipe off any excess glue and allow it to dry. Now that these pieces have bonded, I'm going to remove the tape and then glue another tea light holder on top of the napkin ring. I'll now let those pieces bond together and then continue on with the DIY. Now just repeat the same steps. Add another tea light holder on top of the bottom tea light holder. Now put that aside to dry. Off camera I added another napkin ring and tea light holder. So now we're going to add our sixth and final tea light holder to the top. Make sure to wipe off any excess glue. Now take three of your napkin rings and stack them like this and glue them together. I glued the set of napkin rings to the top of my base. So that gives me a total of five napkin rings. Initially I was going to use this vase at the top, but I changed my mind because I wanted it taller. So I'll be using this one instead. So again, I'll be using my Gorilla Glue to add this to the top of my base. Make sure it's centered and then allow it to dry. Now I'm going to take this basket outside and spray paint it white. While the paint is drying on the basket, I went ahead and added some diamond wrap to these two napkin rings. Using my hot glue gun, I'll add some diamond wrap to the neck of it as well. Once that was done, I decided to add some diamond wrap around the base as well. Once you're done with that, you'll have something that looks like this. Once my basket was dry, I decided to add some chandelier pendants to it off camera and I painted the top of the grid silver. And here's one last pendant 
that I'll attach to the basket on camera. Using my needle nose pliers, I opened the jump ring. So now I'll just attach it to the basket and then close the jump ring back. And here's what the basket looks like with all the pendants attached. Feel free to use more or less pendants. Now it's time to glue on our feather boas. I found these in the children's toy section at Dollar Tree. I have a total of three feather boas. Actually four would have been perfect, but as you'll see in the video, I made the three work out fine. Make sure that you remove the tags from your feather boas before attaching them to the basket. Put some hot glue on the rope that's at the end of the boa and then press it at the base of the basket. Hold it in place until it sets up. Add more hot glue along the grid. Press the feather boa down onto the glue. Then just pat the feather boa in place until it dries. Repeat these steps until the whole feather boa is attached to the basket. Once your first row is completed, start your second row. To save time, I went ahead and covered most of my basket off camera. This is the third and final feather boa. So again, to finish it off, you just do the same thing. Put hot glue on the grid and then lightly pat the feathers in place until they dry. Cut off the excess feather boa. Now glue the end down. Once you're done, you'll have a brand new feathered lampshade. Isn't that gorgeous? So I'm just going to check and see if I have any openings. And I have one there, so I'm just going to take the excess boa and fill in any spaces that I might find. So here's what our lampshade looks like once I fill in those open spaces. But I really think four boas would have been ideal. Now back to our lamp. Here's a couple of lighting ideas. This LED light changes color and it doesn't overheat and it comes with a remote and if you're interested I'll leave a link below. You could also use the push lights from Dollar Tree or even some string lights. I'm going to put the lamp together, come back and let you see what it looks like. And here is our completed lamp and lampshade. It's definitely glamorous and blingy. The height of this lamp worked for any room, but I could definitely see this in my bedroom or even in my living room. On top of that, it's budget friendly. I spent $13 on Dollar Tree items to put this lamp together. As for the chandelier pendants, I already had those on hand but you can purchase them for less than $6 at banggood.com and I'll leave a link below in the description box to them. Okay everyone, this completes my DIY and if you liked it, please leave me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.